Well, a recent report commissioned by a potential ownership group to bring back the Expos suggests that support is high to bring Major League Baseball here to Montreal. Here to talk more about it, I'm joined by Moshe Lander, a professor of economics at Concordia. Welcome to the show. It's Thank great you. to and McGill, I should mention as well. Welcome to the show. It's great to have you here. Thank you. Uh, first of all, maybe uh, I, I think a lot of us know some of the details, but share some of those details with us that came out from this report. The, the report was commissioned by uh, Bronfman, who's inevitably going to be the owner of a group that's bringing back right. to Montreal. So there's a, there's a little bit of bias in the report, of right? Course. It's clearly meant to show that there's, a, there's strong support for the return of baseball to Montreal and uh, that a stadium maybe in the size of around 30, 35,000 would be appropriate and uh, location to be determined. Uh, and really, it's just kind of setting out uh, the, the groundwork to try and build support with the kind of political masters of the city and the province that matter that are going to help try and fund it and to try and kind of get the, the population excited that baseball is going to return. The rest of it's just a lot of technical yeah, stuff. Yeah, of course, that, of you course. Know. But what about Major League Baseball? What are they saying about the prospects of, of, of it returning to Montreal? So the reality is that baseball is going to expand at some point within the next five to ten years and go to 32 teams. 32 right. is the size of the NFL. With Seattle coming into the NHL, that's going to be the size of the NHL. Basketball will expand to 32. 32 is a really nice number. Yeah. So there are two candidate cities out there that Major League Baseball wants to look for. Once they kind of internally know what they want to do, then they'll start to ramp up all of the excitement for the beauty contest to see who's yeah. it going to be. Montreal is clearly going to be one of those final candidates. What are some of the other cities that are, that are the, candidates? The two biggies other than Montreal are going to be Portland and Las Vegas. Now okay. that now that the barrier has been broken and hockey's gone into right. Vegas, football's going next year, basketball for sure will want to get into Vegas, baseball's not going to be far behind. So between them and Portland to kind of fill out that northwestern corridor between Seattle and San Francisco, Oakland, uh, that, that's going to be the kind of big three. You mentioned the beauty contest, so let's talk about this because, you know, I, I think with the Plant administration, we've heard that, hey, she'd love to see baseball return to Montreal, but they don't want to put any money into it. They may be forced to, though, right? Because Major League Baseball is going to play a bit of a game between these three cities. Absolutely, and it's going to be a good cop, bad cop sort of thing. Right. One of Major League Baseball and the Bronfman family are going to be the good cop, the other one's going to be bad cop. And so one of them is going to say, I totally understand that we shouldn't be putting public funds, but if we don't do it, we're not going to get the team. Yeah. Uh, you're going to see lots of visits from the commissioner of Major League Baseball coming in and saying what a wonderful city Montreal is and it would be great to see the Expos return and who's not going to want to ramp out a footage of UP or uh, <laughs> yeah. you know the the 93 team that was heartbroken and, and had mm -hmm. it stolen from them. Um, that, that's going to be the, the way that you try and kind of build up excitement. Uh, but inevitably, it's going to be to arm twist people into putting money into building a stadium. Yeah, and let's talk about stadium because Major League Baseball has said there is no way it's going to happen at Olympic Stadium. I think most of us here in Montreal agree there's no way it should happen at Olympic Stadium. There's talk that maybe they could play there for one or two years while the stadium you know, gets finalized. Where's the best place for a new stadium? The, the new stadium design is to build it downtown. It's to right. build it where the people are, right? So the old idea was that you would build it outside of the city and on the outskirts of town, and everybody would get in their cars or get on the metro, mm -hmm. and you'd kind of go all one way out to the game, stay there, and then turn around and promptly go back. Now what you want is that the game is part of a broader experience. So you want bars and restaurants and tailgating and some sort yeah. of nightlife exercise that you stop and have sushi before you go to the game, right. and then you go to the bar after. So you want to put it where the people are. And so that really inevitably means it's going to have to be somewhere kind of in the downtown area or at least much more accessible than going all the way out on the Green Line to Olympic Stadium. So uh, Griffintown is mentioned, maybe the site of the old children's hospital and yeah. returning things back to where the forum used to be. That's a possible candidate too. But it's really going to be kind of what can you arm twist the city into giving. Uh, that's going to kind of determine the final location. Well, in your opinion, what do you think the chances are of Major League Baseball returning to Montreal? It's good. It, it is. It's, it's, I'm not okay. going to say that it's like 75 percent, but okay. I'm not going to say that there's no chance it's going to happen. The right. idea of a second team in Canada is certainly good for baseball. There was a team here, and there's a history here, and a lot of the reason that team was taken away was because it really was just a crappy stadium. It's not that there wasn't a fan base. It's not that there wasn't the capacity to build a team. It's if the Canadian dollar is strong, uh, Montreal's a great city. It would be an attractive place for people to live. Uh, but and corporate support, right? Absolutely. And that's what Montreal has as well. We've seen the economy. You're seeing a lot of high tech come into the city. Absolutely. That corporate support is so important, and that's why, I, you know, I'm, I'm not... It, 
bringing in hockey here, but that's why we haven't seen a team in Quebec City, in, according to a lot of people. Yeah, and it's and it's 25 years since the Expos left, and it's a different Montreal, and it's a yeah. different political climate too. So. Uh, a lot of the things that kind of ran off the Expos back then is maybe not still here now. So th yeah. there, is, there is a good chance, but I, I, I don't want to get people just like really <laughs> excited and running out. But the fact that they come back every year for spring training and a couple of games mm -hmm. is really just trying to kind of keep their toe in the water here and saying, look, we're not saying no, and it's not a, a, a never. Yeah, I agreed. And you said don't get too excited. I'm sorry to say, but I'm excited, and I think you've excited a lot of people. Thanks so much for joining us. My pleasure. Really appreciate it. Don't go anywhere. More breakfast television coming up. And, of course, you can watch this interview and many more. BTMontreal.ca.